Common sense is knowing the truth when you're fed a lie. Common sense is thinking about things rationally, going through them, and picking them apart and figuring out the answer. The Ukraine Navy has been brought over by Trump to take out America. The shootings, all of this activity that's going on right now where Americans are being taken down like 40 at a time or so are done by Ukraine navies. People from the Ukraine. People from other parts of the country. Because the UN is using them to take down the US. Not kidding. Common sense tells me it's impossible for one person with something to fire at 40 people at one time. Impossible. Common sense tells me that somehow all of this boils down to a militia sent from the UK <laughs> through the UK military sent to bring down the US so that the Americans can be all killed off and then they can have slavery with the illegals and shut down the government they get rid of us people they don't have to have a government hooray what yahoo right that's their plan that's more than their plan you know we ought to stand up and shout we ought to tell them and tell them in our biggest voice we have to leave us alone as Americans let us live our lives let us survive let us do the best we can we've been hacked at on the internet we've also been hacked at through nuclear bombs oh yes they set coffin nukes around to clear out the houses of course that's not all they said are these people that mow the lawns are from the UK and they're putting radiation in our houses with these little little things they put in the walls yeah they're there they're not just extra bumps they're not just where the house is settling honey houses don't settle like that sorry it's time to start using common sense people someone feeds you a story they're going to use that and you know what that activity that just happened and I call it an activity because it's something that doesn't normally happen anyway I really don't know what else to call anything anymore so you can just use your best judgment on what I'm talking about I think you know but what just happened should never have happened why isn't Trump protecting the country my question for Trump is why is he spending so much time with the UK working closely with them and with North Korea when he's supposed to be protecting and working for the American people you think I'm mad I'm very mad and that's why I'm saying this it's impossible for one person to aim at 40 people I mean if you were throwing pies you wouldn't be able to get all the pies thrown at one time I'm serious it's impossible you should check out the facts they're using the story so that they can have fundraisers and make more money off the grieving why not they've already got grieving widows and everything else 
Yeah, I question a lot of things. I really do. And this is one of them. Because the military could have easily went into that park. They could have easily done the deed and then planted somebody there. That could have easily been done. And then they could have used bystanders and paid them so much to keep quiet or threatened them to keep quiet. And the thing is, they could have used it to make money off of people. Yeah. Who were the real victims? The ones they're feeding that baloney to are the real victims, okay? And we need to get real. We need to see what's real and what's not. We need to look around and figure it out soon. Like I said, we're too busy concentrating on the image and not the man behind the curtain. And it's true. We've lost sight. We've lost our focus. As a result, the country needs help. So does the U.S. I'm just a messenger. That's all I am. I can't do anything about what's been done. I can't do anything about anything. All I can do is get sit back and get frustrated because this is happening, that's happening. My country's disappearing before my eyes. And God we trust has been erased or deleted from our country. The Constitution's being deleted out of the courts. The government's being evaporated. The swamp is being drained and the fish are being killed. I mean, what more could happen? You know, I'm not afraid. And you as people in the U.S. need to stop being afraid. Because things don't get done when you're afraid. The enemy thrives on fear. But God will do anything for you if you ask him. And more than that, we need to be doing something ourselves as citizens of the U.S. about what's going on before it's too late. That's all. When's it going to stop? That's what I'm asking. When is it going to stop? When is all this violence going to stop? You have a fence around a pool. But that doesn't keep a two-year-old from going in and drowning himself in water. That's what I'm saying. No matter how well we keep something, we're always risking something for something else. Honey, When's it going to stop? When's all of it going to stop? When is this country going to wake up and start taking care of itself? When is the U.S. going to start taking care of itself? That's my question. When are we going to stop depending on other people to do our fighting for us? And when are we going to think about what's going on and do something about it. People are allowed to commit felonies and kill other people. That's wrong. Especially these people that are stalking me. They're allowed to kill me. If I had not had these seals, I would have been dead by now. It's true. But when's it going to stop people? That's what I want to know. When is the U.S. going to start taking care of the U.S. and leave North Korea, leave the other countries alone? That's my question. Take care. God bless. Hopefully Jesus comes real quickly. Because I'm ready. Take care. Bye now.